Hi friends, it's Teacher Candy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mushroom math game. So what we're going to need is a piece of paper. You could use any color you want. I used the color orange today. You're going to need some scissors, a marker for making the lines you're going to cut, a marker for coloring, a glue stick or some kind of glue, and a popsicle stick or straws. Anything that can be the stem of your mushroom will work. So our first step is to move everything off of our paper and draw the tops of our mushrooms. You should make at least 10 mushrooms. And remember, it's okay if they all look different because mushrooms are never all exactly the same. I like to make a hill and then a line across the bottom to make my mushrooms. A hill and a line across the bottom. So once you draw all your mushrooms, you will get your scissors and start cutting them out. Cut as carefully as you can following the lines that you traced. I like to cut one off because it makes it a little easier than having the whole paper. Once you're, once you're finished cutting all your mushrooms, you're going to get your black marker again, and you're going to write the numbers, starting with number one and going up to ten. I'm just going to show you with one because I have some done already. So we have our number. We're going to get our red marker or whatever color you have. And we're going to make dots on the mushrooms. And if it has a, n a number one, we're going to put one dot. If it has a number two, like this one, you make two dots. And they don't have to be circle. They could be any shape you want of dots. Look at this one. It's number five. And it has one, two, three, four, five dots. So do that with all your mushroom tops all the way up to ten. When you're finished with that, you'll grab a popsicle stick and you will put some glue at the top just at one end. That's where we're gonna glue the mushroom on. Stick it right on. And now look, you have a mushroom. If you wanted to, you could even color the stick to have a colorful stem for your mushroom. Most of mine are just plain. So now look, we have all these mushrooms. One through 10, they're all mixed together. So it's, that's going to help us make the game. I forgot one step though. You're going to need to get your big paper again. Like this. And it, you might need two papers if you use all of it to draw your mushrooms. If not, you could use the other end. And you're going to cut and make some cards. So I just cut a straight line from the top to the bottom. If you need a line to help you make a straight line, you could have your parent draw a straight line across the paper so you know where to cut. I'll show you how to do that this time. We'll draw a line. Then you know where to cut. See, there's a line straight down. Then I'm going to make lines this way too, so I could cut them afterwards. Little cards. And we'll cut them out. So you can cut straight down again. And then we will cut our cards. I already have most of mine cut, so I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. So then we're going to write the numbers one through, one through ten on them, just like we did on the mushrooms. So we do one, two, three. And we'll go all the way up until we get to number 10. Now you should have 10 mushrooms. And they should all have numbers on them. And you should have 10 cards also with all the numbers on them. Now you're ready to play the game. So there's different ways you could play. You could just take turns with one of your parents or if you have a, a friend or a sibling. You, one picks a number, and they see what it is. That's a number seven. 
So then you got to find the mushroom with that same number seven. Does that one match? Nope. I could count, and that's one, two, three, four, five. That's a five, and this is a seven. They don't match. So I'll keep looking. Oh, look. I think I found the match. This one has a number seven, and look it. This one has a number seven, and if we count the dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we know we got it right, so we could put those together on the side. Then it's the next person's turn to give it a try. There's also another way you could play the game. You can do math. You have all your mushrooms, there's 10 mushrooms. Then you pick one of these and you say, that's a two. So we have 10 mushrooms and we're gonna take two away. So it doesn't matter which number's on it. We'll just grab two, one, two. Now we can count and see how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know 10 take away two equals eight. That's a fun math game to play too. I hope you guys have fun and enjoy this activity. Bye.